Hi there, I'd like to give you a short demonstration of the FastSync Bit Error Rate Tester, which is a Windows-based PC application that can utilize either the FastSync Flex USB adapter or a FastSync PCI Express card to diagnose line quality of both synchronous and asynchronous lines. The FastSync BERT not only offers the standard capabilities that you'd expect to find on an external BERT device, but also offers the benefits of being a PC or laptop-based solution. The user interface, for example, is both rich and easy to use, but is also highly configurable. So, for example, to configure the rate, we just use the rate control. Here's a test running at 128K. But we're not just restricted to the default values shown on the control. We can, in fact, change any of them to any rate supported by the FastSync device being used by the BERT. So let's change that 128K value on display to be 96K. The uh, value on the control is updated. We start the test and you can see the new rate is the rate being obtained. OK, so let's see how you get the FastSync BERT installed. In this case, I'm using a FastSync Flex USB device, inserted that into the USB port, inserted the CD to install the drivers. And now when I run Device Manager, you'll see the Flex appear under the FastSync WAN adapters category. We then just need to go to the BERT CD to run the BERT's own setup program. And when that completes, the BERT will automatically start up and we can uh, position it as required. By default, the BERT will start up in this compact mode, which will allow you to quickly start a test and uh, get any indication of errors on the line. If I remotely inject some errors here, You'll see them counted uh, in the errors display. And the statistics table button can be used at any point to bring up a full table of counters and rates that have been measured for the current test. With regard to configuration, as we demonstrated earlier, we can select our own set of values for the display on the rate control. And we can use the same technique for both the pattern control and the length control that determines the length of the test to be run. To configure the interface selection to match your physical interface, you use the interface button to switch between V24, X21, V35, etc. And using the clocking button, you can switch between internal and external clocking, typically depending upon whether you want the BERT to appear as a DCE or DTE. There are a different set of rates that are appropriate for synchronous or asynchronous interfaces and therefore when you switch between the two modes you'll notice that the rate values change on the dial. These are configured via the configuration table we saw earlier where there is one set for synchronous and one set for asynchronous values. Other facilities include the ability to inject errors. So if I start a, a loopback test here and then use the error button you'll see the injected errors being indicated in the error count window. This count can be set to show bit errors, block errors, errored seconds, etc. Although they're all on display, of course, in the statistics window, as we saw earlier. And we can show the interface signal states, as well as manually control the output states. For differential interface types, the FastSync BERT has the ability to detect when the received data signal is actually inverted. So if I set up a loopback test here and configure it to invert the transmit data signal, you'll see synchronization is achieved as normal, but the receive invert indicator is highlighted, indicating the receipt of an inverted signal. The FastSync BERT also offers an additional set of configuration parameters, which include options such as terminal timing, uh, selection from a wide range of encoding modes, as well as a port selector for when you have multiple FastSync ports installed. We've been concentrating in this demonstration on using the FastSync BERT's graphical user interface. Uh, you can alternatively use it in a scripting mode through the use of batch files to automate tests which output the results to log files. Alternatively via a, a comprehensive API which is uh, accessible to either Windows or LabVIEW client applications. I hope you found this demonstration useful. Do visit us at farsight.com for all the latest product news from Farsight Communications.